Hi, my name is Diego and I'm from CypherCore, the makers of LoginTC. In this video, we will show you how to add LoginTC strong authentication to your Pulse Secure Connect SSL VPN by deploying a LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance and modifying your Pulse Secure Connect SSL VPN using the web UI interface. I recommend to follow along this video with our online documentation. Please see the video description for a list of relevant links. Log in to the LoginTC admin panel online to get started with the installation process. Click domains and then click create for your first domain. Enter a relevant name and pick an icon for your domain. Your users will see the name and icon each time they authenticate. Click create to cr complete this step. You now have a domain ready to be used for LoginTC authentication. Now install and configure the LoginTC Radius Connector Appliance in your virtualization infrastructure. Virtual appliance images are available in OVF slash OVA and VHD formats for both VMware ESXi and Hyper-V. You should first download the LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance image from the download section of our documentation website. See the video description for a list of relevant links. Log into your VMware ESXi console, click create slash register VM, select deploy a virtual machine from an OVF or OVA file, click next, then click to add the relevant OVF files. Enter a name for the appliance and click next. Select your relevant storage and select your desired provisioning. Now that you've completed the new VM wizard, click Finish. To view the newly deployed virtual appliance, select the new instance and then open up the console. The LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance is now ready for configuration. Now configure your newly deployed LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. Hit the Escape key and pick a password for the LoginTC-user user. This password will be used when logging into the virtual appliance's web-based interface. Next, set up the network configuration. It is important to pick a static IP address so that DHCP does, does, don't affect functionality. Next, configure the DNS. You can select an external or internal DNS server. Finally, turn on the web server. Now that the web server is turned on, Open up a new tab in your browser and navigate to the URL indicated in the bottom right hand corner. Enter the same password you configured originally to log in. Now your login C Radius Connector Virtual Appliance is ready to be configured to accept authentication requests. Now you're going to add a new configuration to accept authentication requests. Click Create your first configuration. Retrieve your application ID and application API key from the LoginTC administration panel. If you have not created an application, click Applications. Type Pulse and then click Pulse Secure Connect SSL VPN. Copy the application ID and paste it. Next, get the application API key by clicking Click to View. Copy the API key and paste it. Click Test and Next. Now configure First Factor Authentication, also known as Password Authentication. If you use a Radius server for First Factor Authentication, you can select Radius. For this video, First Factor Authentication will be configured using Active Directory. Enter the Active Directory host and port. Then, in the bind details, bind DN field, enter the distinguished name of a user with read access to the directory. Enter their password as well. This account will be used by the LoginTC Radius Connector to connect to Active Directory and validate user's password. In the query details, enter the base DN where all your users reside. Fill out the username, name, and email attributes. Next, configure the group attribute. Pulse Connect Secure expects successful authentication requests from Radius authentication servers to include a Radius group attribute 
to perform its role mapping rule. If the user is part of the specified group, then the radius group attribute will contain that group name. If the user is not part of the group, then no attribute will be returned and Pulse Connect Secure will not perform the role mapping rule. Use filter ID for the radius group attribute. For the AD group, enter a comma delimited list of the groups configured for role mapping rules on your Pulse Connect Secure SSL VPN. Once configured, scroll down, click Test, and then Next. Pass-through is an optional feature to control which users must be challenged with second factor. Pass-through can be configured based on a static list of usernames or based on Active Directory group membership. This is useful in a testing environment or to control the two-factor authentication rollout to your user base. In this video, all users will be challenged, so pass-through will be set to no pass-through. Finally, configure the Radius client. Enter the name of the client as it will appear in your configurations list. Enter the IP address where the authentication request will originate from. Enter a secret that will be shared between your login to see Radius connector and the Radius client. Pick challenge mode for a streamlined user experience. Scroll down, click test, and save. Now the configuration is added and ready to be used. Now create a user and test your configuration. Go to the administration panel and from the domains tab, click your newly created domain. Scroll down and click create member. The username must match the username in your active directory or SAM account name. Then enter their full name, their email address, and click create. Now issue a token so that the user can authenticate with login TC. An email with instructions on how to load a token is usually sent to users. For this video, the token will be issued without an email. Load the new token on your test device. Launch the login TC app, click add token, and enter the activation code you see in the administration panel. Click next and click add. Now the user has a token for your login TC domain and will be able to authenticate against any service you protect with login TC. Click the user to confirm the token is loaded. Now click test token to open the test token modal. Click send notification. A simulated request will be sent to your device. Approve the request to confirm authentication is working. You can also perform a test from the login TC Radius Connector virtual appliance. This test verifies that both first and second factor authentication configurations are accurate. This is a great way to confirm that the configuration is correct before modifying your Radius client. Click Test Configuration to open the test configuration modal. Enter the username and password and click Test Configuration. Approve the request this test confirms that both first and second factor authentication are configured properly. Now configure your Pulse Secure Connect SSL VPN using the web UI interface. On the Login TC Radius Connector under the Settings tab, you can see the configured IP address and Radius authentication and accounting ports. Now navigate to the Pulse Secure Connect SSL VPN web UI interface. Enter your administrator credentials and log in. Scroll over authentication in the top menu and then click Auth Servers. From the drop down, select Radius Server and click New Server. Enter a name for the new authentication server. Under Radius Server, Enter the IP address of the Login TC Radius connector. Ensure the server port is set to 1812. Enter the same Radius shared secret used when creating the configuration on the Login TC Radius connector. Set the timeout to 90 seconds and retries to zero.
Scroll down and click Save Changes. Now create a custom radius rule. Scroll down and click New Radius Rule. Give the new rule a name. Under Response Packet Type, make sure it's set to Access Challenge. For attribute criteria, leave the defaults and set value to match a string of numeric digits. Click Add. Under Then Take Action, select Show Generic Login Page. Scroll down and click Save Changes. Now scroll over Users in the top menu and then under User Realms, click New User Realm. Enter a name for the new authentication realm. Under Servers, set Authentication to Login TC. Scroll down and click Save Changes. Under Role Mapping for the new user realm, click New Rule. Select User Attribute from the Rule Based On dropdown and click Update. Enter a name for the Rule Mapping rule. Under the Attribute dropdown, select Filter ID 11. Under the Is, enter SSL VPN users. This value should match the group attribute configured in first factor authentication portion of the Login C Radius Connector configuration. Under Then Assign These Roles, select Users and click Add. Scroll down and click Save Changes. Scroll over Authentication in the top menu and then under Signing In, click Sign in policies. Scroll down and pick the user URL you would like to enforce login TC authentication. Scroll down and add login TC users as a realm that the user can pick from. Scroll down again and click Save Changes. Your Pulse Secure Connect SSL VPN is now configured to use login TC. Now test Pulse Secure Connect SSL VPN using the Pulse Secure Connect VPN client. Using both first factor authentication against Active Directory and second factor using Login TC. Open the Pulse Secure Connect network access client. Click the connection profile you wish to connect to. Enter the username and password. Type 1 in the challenge window to receive a notification on your device. Tap Approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access your Pulse Secure Connect SSL VPN securely using Login TC multi factor authentication. You can also test your configuration using the web based Pulse Secure Connect portal with both first factor against Active Directory and second factor using Login TC. Launch a browser and navigate to the Pulse Secure Connect web portal. Enter your username and password. Type 1 in the challenge window to receive a notification on your device. Tap Approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access your Pulse Secure Connect SSL VPN web portal securely using LogTC multi factor authentication. 